that's why the Bible and things, after a while, people are like, oh, well, that's just, you know, don't eat this apple. And, and they change the stories and the meanings to where, you know, people just don't believe it because it, it's not what it really was. You know, and, and uh, Zeus and all those people weren't just mythical uh, things. They were real people that were here. And, and uh, a lot of it seems like they had flying technology. Uh, since you don't know about this, I don't know if you knew, you were talking about America. Uh, I mean, there's a lot with South America. Mm -hmm. uh, and you got things in, like, Peru, where uh, I forget the exact name of them, but it's basically this big flat. I wish I had pictures. It's on YouTube all over. You can see these images, where it's basically a flying, like a landing station, you know. I've and, seen the landing and, strips and, you know, in, in and, South and, America. And arrows, even, okay, American yeah. Indians actually. <coughs> the, uh, I'm trying to think, the Nazca lines and things like that. Uh, where basically uh, you got these these uh, Indian tribes, you know, showing their, their symbol, you know, whether it's spider, peacock clan, whale clan, they'd show their image and then have a big arrow showing where they were going, you know, and this was only able to be seen from in the sky. So what were they doing this for the birds? Was it for? Yeah, for, right. You know, you couldn't <laughs> notice. In other words, if you were standing there, you wouldn't make out the the, no. the symbol or the object. And so they were obviously doing it to leave a message to someone in the sky, uh, you know. And, and then they'll and argue to say over. that it was just, oh, that was their sun god they were worshiping or something. You know, I know there's always yeah, like they cover up everything. There's, there's always that, covering, uh, and yeah. that's why I wanted to bring some of these books. It would be very uh, foolish not to believe. A lot of these people never heard of this. I never heard of any of this. Well, not any of this, but I mean, again, I, my research is is more based in. Um, documented stuff that this is again. This is a lot of this. It's very very. Interesting and, and probably in, in the 80 to 90 percentile on the money, but mm -hmm. there's that factor of um, the only thing you can prove is like those pictures that these people exist. Bones Ar right. And, this yeah. huge people like you saw earlier when he showed you on the video uh, of a video stream uh, for those that were watching uh, instead of listening. Uh, yeah, you're going to see the, that doesn't make sense that there must have been these things that we know there were dinosaurs. We know. So it's foolish to think that there weren't yeah. other. Uh, extraterrestrial or terrestrial uh, that were extinct in their own right. Maybe there yeah. was. Maybe that there. Maybe there was. Again, this is all what's interesting. This is the. Well, they make it the like conjecture. that. They, they were giants on this earth, basically, to the, the deluge or, or the the flood, basically, with mm. the ancients. They all, all the ancients also talk about the flood. Now, were they mm -hmm. text messaging each other? How Probably did, not. You know the. There's a lot how of things. All the right, how do all Indians, these pyramids? African, everyone knows about. Everyone talks about the end of the world too. All these things. They all Very talk about aliens. They talk about you know. And they all Very have different names again. You know, uh, Anunnaki. You got you know Nephilim, Long Walk, the the Watchers. You know. Uh, Very interesting. It's all different names, but uh, it's all to me. And I guess a lot of newer researcher people are starting to think that this really is aliens. And uh, you know when we get into how there's this control of everything, and, and we talk about the bloodlines because it's really easy to prove when you look at Rothschild's bank account and everything they've done. It's you know we it's it's real easy, but is there something more to it? Like all these all these people really guided? Is it got are they guided by Satan? Maybe is there maybe they guided by you know a, a, a demonic force? Are they guided by uh, a, a super race? That's out there. Or just pure greed um, and avarice and, or, and, or and hatred of humanity. Or is it? Is and, or, or sociopathic, psychopath. Really, what it comes down to. I and, personally and, think there's a lot behind I, it. <laughs> I, 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 listen, I'll, I'll tell you, the, I'll tell you okay. this much. Um, my personal viewpoint on it is this, is that there's no question about it. These are sociopaths. Some of them even psychopaths. That we put all our trust in, like Henry Kissinger is a sociopath. <laughs> He has no feelings or, or empathy. That's how you get a, soci a sociopath is somebody who has no empathy for the other people's feelings. It's only, it doesn't matter. Everything else is, the, they're, they're objects. They're not, they have no feelings. Uh, they can hurt these people and it doesn't matter. And he said many times on record that uh, p uh, soldiers are pawns, they're useless cattle, they're cannon fodder, um, you know, so there, and he is not alone. He is of a group of people that have the same ideologies and the same feelings about the population of the world and the troubles that, that is going to be coming through uh, limits to growth. 
And uh, now... But doesn't it sometimes feel like they... Because, I mean, we all talk about... I mean, the, the thing we talk about the most is being like a slave in this whole system. Uh, doesn't it sometimes seem like, maybe like the ancients were saying is, I think a lot of people feel like sometimes like we're slaves. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's a feeling that a lot of us... I oh, my God. And Once you realize you're a slave, it's hard not to know that you're a slave, even though you're making a living and you have a property. I mean, I have a lot of nice things. I own my home. Uh, I have two cars. Mm -hmm. I have, you know, a few things, a few bucks in the bank. I mean, you know, okay. But we all kind of feel that, that struggle and, the, you know, that grind of having to, you know, go yeah, to work. Yeah, everybody, every single person does. Right. And, and the fact that the person above you is always pushing down harder on you. Mm -hmm. That's factual, especially if anyone that's in the corporate environment. Now, now, this isn't necessarily true in the mom and pop world, which is something personally I aspired to before I was awake, to be my own boss, to have my own way of making a living. Mm -hmm. um, just because there was something I always knew that I, was, that I did not like working for others because <laughs> I did not like being a slave. Yeah. I instinctively knew I was a slave, but didn't understand how, why, and I just knew that I knew that if I put my mind to things, I knew that if that, that positive mental attitude stuff, that some of this new age stuff actually is real, and that you can't achieve anything unless you have believe that you can do it, mm -hmm. and that you work power hard for it. The power of the mind to heal the body is, is incredible, but then you don't want to get into this new age stuff completely. But Big Pharma, I mean, if you ask me, listen, if I had to make a choice between some new age solution to, to health, or Big Pharma doping me up, I'll take, the, I'll take the alternative new age philosophy, because the holistic world was actually thousands of years ago, this much I know. Mm. The holistic medicines that are used to this day for thousands of years in China, look how much, well, we all know that, that, that there are cancer rates are lower in, in, in Asians, and they say it's because of the fish. Well, now they're all going to be eating fish and dying from the radiation. From but on Fukushima. average, they're pretty healthy. But they're pretty healthy their whole lives, and they live longer, and this is all documented. I don't have to tell you all this. That, um, and a lot of it has to, there are very few people are overweight, it's just the kind of a way that they eat and everything else and uh, the type of food they eat. But I'm getting digressing. This is the stuff that I know about. Uh -huh. This is real interesting stuff, though. I mean, uh -huh. you know, certainly we can we could spend the first hour deep delving into this and then well, yeah, uh, I'd like get into the news in the second hour. Well, again, I, you know, it, it would, I think, be better if we could get maybe Some people, people calling to, in that don't like what I'm saying mm -hmm. or people that could add more to what I'm saying. Well, uh, I tell you, before you realize that, that there is, I mean, again, you, you know, there's so much stuff. Yeah, and when you get into the fact that you're dealing with stuff that you can't deny, I mean, look, you can't deny this. This is, uh, like you said, there was no Photoshop uh, <laughs> in 1895. In 1895, and um, and then the one before, I showed them this image too of the guy right yeah, here with the leg. That's in a museum right there. I mean, that's a fossil of a, of, <laughs> a, of, a, of a person. So, uh, you know, uh, to say things maybe I didn't say before that you know, uh, or it might be shocking too. Here's something to wow. shock people. 14 to 16 feet tall and had 22 inch long feet. <laughs> Holy crow. Yeah. Uh, something that I found out through Michael Cremo and Forbidden Archaeology. This is a huge book. This is like basically every archaeology find there is basically. They, uh, him and some guys, him and Richard Thompson, you know, spent a long time putting this you together. You can see that. It's a, it it's looks to be about a 700 page book. <laughs> Yeah, um, eight thousand pages. <laughs> so, okay, and uh, one of the <coughs> one of the things that they, uh, you know, again, like I was saying, these people aren't conspiracy theorists. They're not people they're that scientists. are looking right. for for alien stuff. They just went somewhere and they're like, well, where did this come from? This doesn't fit into the picture, you know. And, and then you start researching like we did with 9-11 or anything else and you just start going and going and you start finding cover-ups, cover-ups, hidden information, occult history and information. And uh, uh, just, <laughs> there's just so much uh, archaeology I'm trying to think of, uh, some something that, uh, oh, this is what I wanted to say that will probably be a shock for a lot of people. When we think of dinosaurs being here a million years ago, right? We 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 think dinosaurs a million years ago, big destruction, and man comes along, caveman, this and that. Mm -hmm. Well, I've seen with my eyes, and if you do some research, I can't show it to you right now. Hey, somebody there? We got a caller. Truth? Thought I heard a mic. Um. 
Well, if you do some research like I did, you'll find out uh, that there were fossils found huh. with uh, giant, you know, it would be like you've seen fossils and there'll mm -hmm. be like a footprint or something, right? Well, these were giant footprints of a dinosaur and what happened to be stored in this fossil was the human footprint no inside kidding. the same one. So you had this little tiny footprint. <laughs> and now that could back up ancient paintings again where ancients, there were, you know, paintings from, you know, hundreds of thousands of years ago uh, of uh, man with dinosaurs, man fighting dinosaurs. Michael Cremo and his archaeology, who probably is the deepest researcher in it and has the most information, uh, has found out that man was here probably before the dinosaurs, definitely during the dinosaurs, and we're here after the dinosaurs. Really? And Are you kidding me? That's I, something I wasn't uh, aware of. I've Although it's also like that movie 10,000 BC is like you real? Know? Yeah. Yeah? You know? And uh, Fighting dinosaurs and all that stuff? Which I, I basically, that's where I go to where I think the... the the original man was was uh, was African American was was uh, you know that that's what was here first then for thousands or millions of years before wow. uh, the next creation was, which I believe is is the whole snake Asian thing. Uh, if you go into like uh, Plato or others that talk about this, this is something that I've gotten into with uh, Brandon Levon and stuff about the old world secrets is uh, the. Plato, who's a pretty smart guy, uh, mm -hmm. talked about the world was split up between Zeus, who was in charge of the white race, like the three, the pyramids, and the three, and uh, which is like the center of the earth, the longest longitude latitude lines. Mm -hmm. Again, I don't think cavemen figured that out. Um, so it was basically Zeus and the white race, and you had Poseidon, which was the Asian, and Hades being over Africa, and uh, it's basically Zeus's people went and conquered everybody and uh, you know before that it was uh, there was the worship of many gods um, and then it seems like to me in my research that uh, <coughs> Zeus made people stop worshiping other people and just start worshiping him and I, and I personally believe that this bloodline is connected to Zeus and and and, and this so race. Zeus was a physical yeah. human yeah I, who still, conquered like, the world basically and then over t over decades and probably centuries, mm -hmm. they used his his, his family life and the, and the people just kept saying he's Zeus and the god great god of well, Zeus. Well, there was the mountain, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to Mount think of Olympus. the name Mount Olympus. Yeah. Well, there actually is statues Mount of Zeus, Olympus, yes. and there's these things, and you know, uh, the History Channel, hmm. which you know sometimes makes me not yeah, believe I don't, the I don't, things that I'm there's saying. There's a lot. There's a lot of stuff on the History Channel that's they, exactly. they leave out a lot too. Yeah, yeah. and uh, I don't believe what's on television, but. Uh, you, uh, even the History Channel and people ha have talked about that. Uh, I'm like losing track of where we were at. Um, we were at uh, talking, with the, yeah, with, with the 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 um, fact that the Zeus is a is a man. Oh well, yeah, they were saying that's when they, the ancient aliens alien series mm -hmm. on. Uh, they were saying how the way the ancient described the Zeus thing, it was basically like they were describing like a spaceship or something. Mm -hmm. And like uh, this spot on the top of the mountain is basically... The landing zone or landing or whatever. <laughs> for this like, you know. Wow. <laughs> and, uh, hey, you know, who, who the hell knows? Who knows? You know, I mean, uh, sure. Me personally, I always say I like to go back. You know, like again, if we want to talk about American history, well, do you want to believe uh, some guy right now on television? Or do you want to... You know, see what the person who actually took the first footsteps through and was writing this down to the queen and, and to people, letting them know, or, or Spain, what was going letting on. them know what was going on. To me, I'm going to go back as far as possible. So, uh, you know, even through the research, I, I rather believe uh, what some little African tribe in the middle of Africa said then than what the people are saying nowadays. To well, me. it does make sense, yeah, because you know, you look back to the source because the source always gets manipulated by the time it gets to the to the listener or the reader or the or And we whatever. know that they had their goals. Now, you know, we look at it di maybe different, you know, uh, but we both agree on what their goals are. I agree that, that most of this stuff really makes, li it's like, I, I think, honestly, ladies and gentlemen, Truth Talk News, we're in the, we're in the high 90s. We're, we're A plus here <laughs> in the information. No doubt about it. Um, are we perfect? No. But if there's something, and I 
you can again not just for the well for the fear of the FBI usually, uh, so that they don't arrest us. 